If you use Dynamics 365 for sales, you're probably using system views all the time. System views are those grids that list your opportunities, your activities, your leads, etc. But what if you don't like your system views? What if you want to change them? Is it difficult? Actually, it's pretty easy for users to change those views to make them more well usable. Let's take a look. Here's a Dynamics 365 system view listing open opportunities sorted alphabetically by topic. There are 10 columns in this view, but four of them are irrelevant and two I want to move. The email column is pointless as all the fields are empty. The status column is redundant because, duh, this view consists entirely of open opportunities. There are no values for actual close date and actual revenue because, again, all these opportunities are open. I like working with relevant data, so those columns need to go away. I like the other columns, but I want to move them around a bit. I want potential customers in the first column and estimated revenue to the left of the estimated close date. In the old days, you used the advanced filter icon outlined in red to make these changes, but it was often too slow. The two icons outlined in gold make modifying and filtering views faster and easier. Click on the Edit Columns icon and a panel emerges from the right. Drag these buttons up or down to rearrange the columns. To remove a column, click on the button's ellipse and click Remove. Hit Apply when you're finished. Note there's an asterisk next to the name of my view. The asterisk signifies that the modified view isn't saved. If you wanted just an ad hoc modification, then that's fine. As is, the view will revert to the previous look when you leave this area. If you want to make this a permanent change or save this as a new view, click the ellipse on the upper right. Here you have the choice of either action. Note the asterisk is now gone, meaning changes have been saved to our old view. Click on the funnel icon to further filter this view. A panel emerges from the right. We'll change this view to only display open opportunities with an estimated revenue greater than $1 million. Now we'll click on the ellipse and choose to save this as a new view with a new name. That's all it takes to get started modifying system views in Dynamics 365. If you don't have the permissions to make those changes, ask your system admin or partner for help. If you need additional help with system views or any aspect of Dynamics 365 for customer engagement, use the email address you see on the screen and we'll get right back to you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss anything in the future. And until then, take care.